but you both. It's great to see you. It's great to have you here today to open our Heritage Weekend by unveiling a piece of artwork made by children from the Munich Primary School. But before you do, I want to offer our thanks and give a brief introduction to our splendid exhibitors that are here today. Once again, we welcome back James Barlow, who has displayed bigger and better than last year. So much so that we've had to allocate to him the southwest corner of the church. James is a YouTube creator and presenter and history columnist for the Cheshire Life magazine. He's also a good friend and supporter of St Oswald's. Today he is displaying his splendid private collection of ecclesiastical artefacts. Thank you, James. We have Caroline Heaven and other members of the British Titanic Society team. Caroline has brought a private collection of fascinating nautical artefacts. And today is accompanied by a special guest, Jean Lennon. Jean has travelled from Southampton to be with us here today. And at 12 o'clock she will be holding a talk about the Titanic disaster for the children in the church hall. Something to note, Jean's father was a member of the crew and a survivor of the Titanic disaster. Thank you for being here. We also have Scott Colbert with his incredible private collection of artefacts from the White Star Line and I believe a number of exhibits from the Titanic. So thanks for joining us today, Scott. Uh, we have a great collection of documents and books from the Vunit Primary School. You've got to look at the punishment book, it's something special. <laughs> it gets great interest every year. In fact, at the last Heritage Weekend, we heard a boy say to his mother, Mum, Granddad's in the punishment book. And he was for fighting in the dining hall. I'm not going to say what the punishment was. Our very own Fiona Forsyth is back with us again this year. Fiona is an excellent writer of historical novels set in ancient Rome. She studied classics at Oxford before going on to teach it for 25 years. She's also our in-house Latin translator. She was sending copies of her books which were available to purchase. On the table next to Fiona will be my pseudonym, Jackson Beck. Poor Fiona has to put it with me yet again. I can see it all in her eyes somewhere. Um, on the south wall, we have got uh, some lovely uh, artwork created by the first Winnick Brownies. And in the south pews, more fantastic artwork by the uh, Winnick Brownies School. But regardless of the amazing exhibition pieces that you're going to see on display today, don't forget to look at what this ancient church has to offer. Take a look at what is displayed in the Gerard Chapel. And admire the craftsmanship and craftswomanship of the memorials in the Lee Chapel. But most of all, please enjoy your time with us today. Without further ado, I would like to invite Bishop Perth to the red carpet. I think she may have a few things to say before opening the event. Thank you so very much, and thank you for the invitation to come here. I am thrilled to be here. It is uh, just enthralling to uh, uh, cast my eyes around what you've, what you've achieved for today this weekend, what you've been achieving, what you are achieving, what you're doing, uh, and you probably um, notice how the concentration span for P. So when I was meant to be here. Straight away, I found myself being drawn over to that corner. But I'm, I'm going to uh, uh, really enjoy having some time here to, um, to explore everything that's, that's on show for everybody who has contributed. Uh, how amazing are you? And thank you so much for all the work you've put into it. And for those who've been supporting others who've been doing the work uh, and the stapling and the, the back, back of the stuff, thank you for all you've been doing. This promises to be special, and we've got wonderful weather. Um, I, throughout my life, I've never spent anywhere very long. That's not because I don't think, because I leave a drift of destruction wherever I am, I have to move on fast. I don't think that's the reason. 
But um, I always lived a bit of a peripatetic life. My parents, my dad was in the army, and so every two years we'd move. And, um, uh, and funnily enough, in the church, it's even been like that, that I've never seemed to spend anywhere terribly long. Um, and I remember as a young curate, when I got my first book, I saying, you know, I'm going to be here for four years. I've never been anywhere for four years in my life. Uh, and that was going to change. <laughs> so I didn't do four years. Uh, and within four years, six homes. So the reason I'm telling you this is uh, it took me some time to understand a place, the history of place, holding the memory, the importance of place, the uh, amazing dynamic of who we are. Uh, sometimes we feel very, very small in a big, big universe, don't we? Uh, and yet we are one with our world. When we look at our our makeup, our carbon makeup. We have to acknowledge we are one with the world. The world is one with us. Uh, and I love it that I can come to a place and feel the dust during the COVID uh, years of lockdown. Something I missed, and I know many, 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 many hundreds of other people missed, was the dust on our skin, feeling the dust of others, feeling the dust of place. So for those of you who have lived here forever, you will hold a love and affection for St. Oswald's, for this community, uh, these communities. Some of you will take it for granted because it's so much a part of your life. For some of you, the rootedness is so, so important to you. For others of us who step in and maybe we'll be stepping out again, you're inviting us into a very sacred, very beautiful space. Wherever there is a human being, wherever we know God has walked, we know it's a sacred place. We know this is a sacred place because it's a place where people have gathered for so, so long. So we know that there's a record in, of, of St. Oswald's in the Doomsday Book, don't we? We know it was around during Normans, Norman that era. We know it was very probably around during the Saxon period. St. Oswald's, there was a cult of St. In the Middle Ages, uh, back in the seventh century. Do we really know how far back St. Oswald's going? You're probably the man to ask. Peter, you know, even more. <laughs> but what we do know is there's the Christian witness, Christian faithfulness. And the more I spend time with Christians, the more I love the church so much. Because the Christians, Christians make up, Christians are a Christian community. And we're so different, we have so many different views with, you know, so a whole mishmash of personalities, of shapes, sizes, thinking, that we share a few things in common. These things are important. 
rites of passages are important. And I, I thank God for this place, for the beauty and splendor of this place. But most of all, for you, the living stones, whatever your story is for coming in, I hope and pray is that you're going to learn things about yourself you didn't know before. You're going to learn stories that you didn't know. You're going to hear first, second, third hand experiences of stories that you had never had any insight of. You're going to see work that the children have done. Has it been hard work? Been a lot of commitment, hasn't there? And I can't wait to see some of the work that you've been doing to celebrate this very important heritage weekend. So I thank you and I pray God's blessing upon each and every one of you, all who come in here and all who hear the stories you're going to go home and share when you leave this place. July came into the church to some small artwork that you can see at the back. But we chose um, a section of the stained glass window at the back of the church. So hopefully as you're walking around today, when you look at the piece of artwork that all of our children across the school each year group, they come down and done a little bit. So if any of them are here, they've not seen the final piece because we pulled that together at the end of yesterday. So we hope that you know as you see it, you will see uh, detectives today and go around and find it. Right, are you ready? Yes. What was that? Yes! <laughs> I just dropped it. And why did you choose this? I think, well, we looked at quite a number of things around, um, around the church, and I think it just stood out. It was the colour, it was the simplicity. Um, and it was what it, it represented, that, that chalice, I suppose, um, that we wanted something quite simple, but that would have quite a big impact. That's absolutely fantastic. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Just a small something. Alex, could you come forward? And Holly? And Jasmine, all at the same time, that's it. Okay. <laughs> this is a presentation to you for attending today, opening the ceremony for us. Thank you, Bishop. That is so This is so kind. <coughs> Honestly, totally undeserved. So very kind. Thank the event is open, ladies and gentlemen, so please feel free to wander around the church.